Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Today we're talking about the Blizzard Rustler 9. Um, this happens to be a ski that I'm very fond of. I think it is extremely well-rounded. There's a lot of great things about it. It is very, very versatile. You can pretty much take it anywhere on the mountain. Um, we kind of have somewhat of a joke, but there's certainly some truth to it that if you don't know what skis to buy, just buy a Rustler 9 and chances are you're going to be really happy. Um, so this ski has been around for a while now and essentially it was originally developed to provide sort of a contrast or complement to skis that Blizzard already had. Notably skis like the Brahma and the Bonafide, those stiff, strong skis. So the Rustler 9 and the entire Rustler series was designed to be more playful, more agile, um, and more versatile for off-piste terrain, like trees and moguls and stuff like that. So, really cool ski, um, just a ton of fun to ski, just so, so much fun. Maybe fun is the best way to describe it. Um, and in terms of what's going on in this ski, we get a wood core, um, and it's all built in what Blizzard calls Carbon Flip Core DRT. DRT is a funny acronym, um, but I really like it, and I think it it does a great job of describing the intention of this ski. It stands for dynamic release technology. So that's kind of giving a nod to the fact that this ski is designed with easier edge release than something like the Brahma 88. So wood core, partial metal laminate, full width underfoot, and then it kind of tapers and ends as you reach the tips and tails. And then we do get carbon fiber in the tips and tails as well. It's unidirectional carbon fiber, um, but just kind of like keeps the tips and tails a little stronger than, than they would be otherwise, kind of reduces vibration damping up there. Um, and then to look at shape, that's not only is construction quite a bit different than skis like the Brahma and Bonafide, shape is quite a bit different too. So you can see just the amount of tail rocker we have back here. And basically what happens in the Rustler line is as you go wider, the metal gets shorter and you get more rocker. So this nine being the narrowest ski, we have the longest metal and the shortest rocker, but it's still, you know, it's still substantial rocker back there and then even longer in the tip. So quite a bit of rocker and then that nice camber profile underfoot. So it just, the shape of this ski, the build of it, it just makes it incredibly well-rounded. Um, because it is quite strong underfoot, thanks to the camber and that full-width metal, it will hold an edge pretty darn well. Um, I think people, probably in their mind when they think about it, they think it might be not a very strong ski, because you look at skis like the Brahma compared to this, the Brahma is clearly going to be stronger with greater edge grip, but that doesn't mean that this is like loose and unstable. You can lay over some really cool carving turns on this ski. A lot of fun. On the other side, if you take it off trail, if you take it into trees, moguls, that kind of stuff, or maybe you have like some fresh snow on the day that you're skiing, it is way more playful. That dynamic release technology really comes into play. You can get the ski to kind of smear and slip and pivot just drastically easier than you can on a ski like the Brahma. So that's where it really falls as a, a great complement to that ski. If you want strong and stable and precise, you can go with the Brahma. If you want some of those attributes, but in a ski that's easier and more forgiving and more versatile, that's where the Rustler 9 just is an incredibly valuable ski. Um, the other thing I like about the Rustler 9 is there's a bigger audience for it than skis like the Brahma. So when we talk about the Brahma and the Bonafide, you know, we often say like, you really need to be an advanced expert level skier. You don't on the Rustler 9. An intermediate can ski this ski and they will have a blast. They will benefit from all those same things that we just described. And then you put an expert skier on it and they're gonna enjoy it too. It's not too soft for an expert. It's not like, it's not, it's not a weak ski. You know, it's a pretty, pretty strong ski even though it has that different construction and that different shape. 
So an, an expert's gear, for them, it'll just feel like a Swiss army knife. You know, you can carve, you can make short turns on the side of the trail, you can go into the trees, you can go into the bumps. Heck, you could even like go into the park. You know, there's enough rise back there that you can ski this thing switch. I've done it plenty of times and I never get worried about the tail catching. So super, super fun ski. A lot of people can enjoy it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you don't know what ski to buy, you can just buy a Rustler 9 and feel really confident about that decision. It would satisfy just a huge number of skiers out there, which makes it a really valuable ski. So that's the Rustler 9 from Blizzard. Let us know if you have any questions about it, and we'll see you out there on the hill.